everyone. How are you? I have a wonderful read aloud for you today. So, someone told me that the pre-K children are moving up and transitioning and going into kindergarten. How awesome is that? That is something to celebrate. So I'm going to clap for you if you're, you know, moving up and going into nursery school or pre-K or kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, and so on. So I'm going to clap for you right now. I'm so happy for you. But come on over, sit down with me, and let's get into this story about Clifford going to kindergarten. And I'm also going to incorporate, which means I'm going to use one of my story wands. And my story wands, um, they have questions on them. And this one says, what was your favorite part? So this is something that we do in pre-K. We answer a lot of questions. We ask a lot of questions. We share ideas and we exchange uh, different thoughts and opinions. And this is something that you're going to do in kindergarten also or any grade that you're in. So come on over, sit down with me, enjoy the story, and let's discover what your favorite part of the story is. Clifford goes to kindergarten. And let's begin. Hello, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog Clifford. I started kindergarten yesterday. At first I was scared, but now I love school. Being scared, that's a feeling, and that's probably something that we all have felt. But going to school, it's a lot of fun, lots of things to do. Before school started, my mom read me a book about what my first day of kindergarten would be like. She said I would make lots of new friends and learn all about writing, counting animals, and my neighborhood. We went to see my new school. Clifford stayed outside, but just knowing he was close by made me feel better. We met my teacher, Miss Tate, and she showed us around the classroom. She was very nice. We visited the nurse's office. If I ever feel sick, the nurse will take care of me. Later, we played school in my backyard. I was the teacher, and my mom and Clifford were my students. I tried to be just like Miss Tate. I still had a few questions for my mom. I asked her what would happen if I missed home, or if I didn't, ma if I didn't make any friends. She said that Miss Tate would help me feel better if I was sad. She would also make sure I didn't have to play by myself. The next day, Clifford and I were playing hide and seek. When a letter came in the mail, it was from my teacher. The letter said that each kindergartner could bring something from home to school on the first day to help make them feel comfortable. I knew exactly what I was going to bring. What do you think she's going to bring? Hmm, tell a friend. On the first day of kindergarten, Miss Tate greeted us at the classroom door. She was very surprised to see Clifford. All the other kids brought stuffed animals, toys, or blankets. They all smiled when they saw Clifford. It was time for school to start. I said goodbye to my mom. We all sat in a circle and Miss Tate taught us a welcome song. And Clifford tried to sing along too, but all he could do was howl. Mm -hmm. Then we all took turns going to the front of the class to answer a question on the board. Miss Tate asked a question and we wrote yes or no. Even Clifford had a turn. We practiced writing letters and words. Some kids were nervous about writing. Clifford gave them kisses to help them feel better. That must be so comforting. Unfortunately, his kisses were very slobbery. Next, Miss Tate asked us to paint a picture of home. Clifford missed home as much as I did. When he saw my painting, he started wagging his tail really fast. Oops, he knocked over some of the water and paint with his tail. 
Clifford rolled around on the floor and tried to clean it up. Finally, it was time for lunch. I was so hungry. So was Clifford. Everyone loved Clifford so much they wanted to give him treats. But Miss Tate said we need to eat our own food so we could have energy for the rest of the school day. <clears throat> At recess, everyone wanted to play with Clifford. We made a lot of friends on the playground. And Clifford's tail is a great jump rope and his nose is the best slide. Looks like they're all having so much fun and they're having fun together. At nap time, we were all tired from playing outside, but we weren't used to sleeping on the rug. It was hard to get comfortable. That's when Clifford had an idea. Hmm. I wonder what that idea may be. What do you think? Tell a friend. Hmm. Clifford let everyone snuggle up with him. Soon we all fell asleep. Uh, we all fell fast asleep. Miss Tate was happy we were able to nap. We still had a long school day ahead of us. Clifford saved nap time. We woke up ready for the rest of the school day. Bringing Clifford to my first day of kindergarten was a big success. I can't wait to go back to school tomorrow. The end. So friends, tell me or tell a friend, what was your favorite part about the story? My favorite part was when Clifford saved the day and he let everyone nap on him. What a wonderful friend and what a good deed. Bye everyone.